Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is of Kickle Cubicle on the NES. You're like, what the heck is Kickle Cubicle? Well, I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot of people have heard of this one. It's a top-down action puzzler dealio. And playing Bomberman recently sort of reminded me of it. I was like, why didn't I make a random gameplay of this someday? Or maybe even a full walkthrough. Like... Did you see there is some of the resemblance to <laughs> some sort of kind of Bomberman ish going on here? So, yeah, I just shot a little ice freezy blast here, freezy enemies, and you also use the same button to kick them into the water. You can also make pillars with the other button to block stuff from killing you or deflect stuff to go some other different direction or stop something and whatnot. So, yeah, I trapped them all on there. We're all safe, but you know, if we kind of have to build a bridge, we have to go in the danger zone. Anyway, and the story of this game is that the evil wizard has frozen the lands, and we've got to save the people trapped in these dream bags, the flashy thingies here, and that will unfreeze stuff. So we, we got to freeze stuff to make progress to unfreeze stuff. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a so all, all the gameplay is definitely not like Bomberman, it just, I don't know, just, it just, things about it remind me of Bomberman, you know, you know, top-down grid, straight line shots, <laughs> all that goodness. <laughs> no, you gotta be frozen here, I'm just gonna take care of you. Should I get those popsicles? The popsicles are kinda, kinda optional. Eh, I'll skip it, I'll speedrun this. <laughs> I mean, if I'm making a full-on walkthrough, and I just may someday, because this game is pretty fun, and this game can get really complicated, by the way. Um, yeah, I would probably get all the stuff in every level. The beautiful fantasy kingdom is now under the rule of the Wizard King! The ravishing palaces were hidden and these islands were made to confine us. Kickle, please get back the palaces and revive the fantasy kingdom. By the way, as you can see, the people, they're corn or whatever. The people you save from the- that's, that's what's flying around there, the people. <laughs> yep, the corn is- <laughs> So, since we're in Garden Land, we got, you know, vegetable people, and there's a turn up over there, and they also got levels are in the shape of various vegetables and objects and stuff like that. By the way, if you shoot an ice blast at the pea, everything freezes. You, you could use to your advantage if you would like to. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll just, probably should just make a path down the middle, I mean, I could get all the popsicles by putting a, a, a little ice line down all the rows, in between all the other rows, but you know what, speedrun! <laughs> we have saved the green pepper people, and we are ready to go to the next level. I'll probably just do, like, the whole first world, because you can get through it pretty quick, but later levels... Oh. They will baffle your noodle like no other game on the NES, probably. <laughs> so they may take you hours to figure out, maybe. <laughs> and some of them are just plain hard to execute because of enemies and stuff like that, so that's another factor. But, you know, this is the early game, so things are, things are designed to be pretty easy here, you know? You know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's how things roll in the early game. And yeah, also you notice that enemies spawn from those little trap inch like capsule thingies there infinitely. Just basically so you could have, yeah, <laughs> so you have the resources you need. Although there is, it is possible to get permanently stuck on uh, later levels, which is why you have the select button, which is automatically kill you button. So <laughs> it just kind of speed things along there. Springs bounce things around nicely there, as you can see, which kind of uh, makes things all fancy to get through things like that. Or you just freeze enemies to make a bridge to the other side. Your choice, but we have saved the pumpkin people, and we are ready 
to go on and save the rest of Garden Land. That's why I'm speedrunning here, and to go through all of Garden Land. I, re I really want to show you the boss, because the boss is, is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to make a nice line down here. By the way, nothing can stop on these... Um, like, see those holes in the ice? Nothing can actually stop on those. Oh yeah, they can kick my icicles, but yeah, you see... Yeah, so these are like a blocker, like a perma blocker, and you've got to figure out how to deal with those. And th yeah, so things are starting to get a little bit more complicated now thanks to the addition of those, but still not too complicated. I can just kind of run down over there and have a good time. And see you in the next level as the potato people have been freed and are happily flying about us in balloon flight mode. And I don't know what that compass is for, actually. I don't think, well, don't we think we need navigations. We're just kind of going around the perimeter. Freeze! <laughs> I guess I should probably make a little bridge down this pathway if, if some of you guys would like to cooperate a little bit. I can't, like, freeze the raccoons. Yeah, see that raccoons? Yeah, they're in a ring. Isn't... That only appears in, like, certain circumstances. And when you get it... I think, like, a bunch of flowers happen. Yeah, it's like, bonus time, you beat the level! So if you have a bunch of spaces unlocked, like you put a whole bunch of ice blocks in the water before you do this, you can not only get all the flowers possible, well, unless you run out of time before you're able to get all the flowers. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, it's kind of a factor of this as well, a little bonus time, but that's okay. We can get as much as we can get. I guess that was all we could get. <laughs> So, instead of beating the level normally, I got a ring. I don't know how those rings appear, actually, offhand. They just seem to appear, and you grab them, you beat the level. <laughs> Maybe they're like mercy rings, like thinking you're going to have difficulty with this level. All right, so now we're in the seafood level. Suddenly, we're not in the garden. We're in the sea itself, for we are on Crab Island. I'll just make a quick little bridgey bridge. Over, oh, that bridge actually on the left side that I'm making is, is far too high. I was not paying attention at all. Fan fantastic. That is okay, though. You just wait for the critters to go down low. Actually, I gotta wait for some of them to move off to the side, I think. To build up. Actually, I don't know. I think I can, like, go, like, yeah, two squares over. Just block that up. There we go. Now we can get all those dream bags keep those enemies on the cooler, so we are okay to free the bean people, or are those pea pods? It's kind of kind of hard to tell. Maybe they're cucumbers. That could be too. <laughs> anyway, Garden Land, next level, Skull Island. Oh no, we're trapped forever! Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're not trapped forever! The chicken has helped us! And now we can make ourselves a bridge, get across to the other side, and get the bags. Wait, how do we how do we get deal with this? Well, if we, I was going to say, well, if we freeze that, they'll kick them in the water for us. That other area, that side we were trapped, that was the tutorial. This was for real. And the turn-up people have been saved. And the thaw continues. Woohoo! Yep, see, we're just, like, going around the perimeter. Who knows that compass, anyway? Robotic Island is a go! I can just kind of, like, shoot up. Shoot up. Oop. Oops. Like that. But beware the spikers of doom, for they are completely indestructible! Actually, that, that was a bad shot. There we go. That's, that's a better demonstration of their indestructibleness. <laughs> they also go around the perimeter. So once you open up their opening there, they're kind of they're kind of free to the world. But here's where the strategy aspect comes in. You put a blocker there, and suddenly no one can get in. <laughs> well, if you're worried about them getting in while while getting this bag, I mean, getting this bag here looks very difficult. In fact, I'm having great difficulties getting this bag right now. I just can't. That's all you. That's all you have to put up these barriers just in case. It's very, very hard to... Yeah, oh, I did it! Care if people are saved. Woo! 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 
All right, let's go. <laughs> Stop messing around. I said speed run, PK Gam. Speed run. Oh no, we're trapped. Oh well, we're gonna have to do something about this. As you can see, when we're on the starting area, we don't really have the uh, ability to shoot stuff upwards towards those bags. Now I've got another puzzle going on here. Oh no! Oh no! So what we really gotta do is just go around the, the perimeter. I'm just, gonna, just looking for an opportunity here to safely get myself down because one hit and you're dead, by the way. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. So you wanna do everything nice and smoothly if you can help it. I'm just gonna reset these guys. I want I want them to kind of respond in a better, more rhythmic fashion, if you don't mind. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> They're getting a little unruly here. So I was like, eh, let's just start them fresh. And again, I can push one more block up there to get the popsicles. Let's speed run! Pumpkin people, Arago! They are ready to provide their seeds to the world and pies. Although maybe we shouldn't eat the pumpkin people. And now, more, lots of strategy here. Beware of the spikers. Let them go. Just let them go. Just let them be free. And then you trap them. <laughs> and they're going to do the same. Let them be free. And then we trap. Get it? Get it? Ah, I mean, you could just let them roam around all day and all night if you'd like to, but, you know. You know, if, if there's a simpler way to do it, like, you know, just trapping them like that, go ahead and do so. It's a strategy game, after all, well, strategy slash puzzle, so it's all up to you how you want to tackle stuff, unless there's a super late level that has only one solution. <sighs> Some of them are very, very difficult to figure out. Oh, there's more of those open hole dealios now. What do we do about that, since we can't walk across them? But we can throw some blocks across them. Well, what we can do here is make two rolls going on here. So we'll just kind of like set up a little blocker there. And actually, we'll put a blocker here too. So I got the the right flow of enemies going down through here. Something like that should do nicely. And then these this will come right along that pathway nicely there. Look at that, I just made a zigzag path through it all. Let's kill that chicken off. Ha 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 ha! Ha Fried chicken for dinner today, not the potato people. And thus, the next level is unlocked. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> By the way, this game is uh, password based, so if you ever game over, you just hit password to get your password. But anyway, ma 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 just gonna go ahead and flop these right in there to begin with. Uh, I probably should. Probably should beware of Mr. Bomberman there. <laughs> See what I mean about, about being reminded of Bomberman? <laughs> Just some aspects of this game. Yeah, the Bomberman guy there, he's out! Say he's unfreezable as I tried demonstrating. But I, I kind of, no. <laughs> I should have just grabbed the bag. I mean, I had it. I had it, you know I had it. But, but alas, my demonstration reflexes are too strong. They are too strong. Even though we're supposed to be speedrunning, I am somehow still in walkthrough mode. Oop. By the way, they can also blow up your uh, uh, ice pillars like that. So let's see if I can get one to do. Well, yeah, whatever. You don't stop with the demonstrating. You'll, you'll see them blow up ice pillars in your own play or if I make a walkthrough in it. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, next level. Three more to go. Can we do it? Can we reach the most epic boss in all of history? Maybe. Anyway, oh, no. I thought you were gonna go to the right. <laughs> it's like they always seem—they send the go straight to the wall, as you've seen before, not directly towards you. Well, I trusted it too much. This is why I don't trust a blue critter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so wait, wait a second. How do I get my blocks to stop now? I have to get to the other side, because so I just, I just keep pushing in that direction. And if I push one more, it'll just go off the screen. 
put a couple pillars over there, and suddenly you can stop your blocks. Ah, oh, puzzle aspects. Yes, puzzle aspect. I'm just gonna go like this, and actually, boink, boink, and I goof troop it up on the SNES. Victory! If I wanted to get those popsicles, I would have probably made a path down the, the bottom way. Is it safer than trying to navigate to chicken spawn territory? Otherwise, <laughs> anyway, next one. Let's go. Manta ray time. And man, we got a lot to build here. Because we got a whole U-turn going on here to get to the dream bag. I should probably actually grab these right off to the right out of the bath here. And just kind of start off with making a bridge down. Well, actually, I actually started on the other side, but I don't know. They're like, they're, I don't know, they're better in position here when I seen them just a bit ago, so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Might as well. As long as they're over here accumulating. And as you can see, once we finish this bridge, we are gonna unleash the spikes on the world! So you actually might want to build a bridge off to the other side to make a pathway for it to go all the way around if you'd like to. Or you can just kind of let it hug that edge or you ignore them on the side, that'll work too. However you want to do it is up to you again. <laughs> Except unless it's said only one way to do things, dealio. Anyway, last level. Can we do it? Can we beat World 1? Can we defeat the sunglasses, chickens? Probably. Probably. I guess I'll just kind of get this started off on the right foot. Let's get rid of that chicken. This gets us all set up here. Yeah, you gotta make sure that you are facing the direction of victory when you're doing your shots. Otherwise, you're gonna be trapped by your own ice block and you have to shoot it off in a direction that will not help you, probably. But that's okay. Puzzle time. We'll teach you as you go. Uh, I'm just gonna... uh, eh, maybe I should have been up above the other ones. Anyway, <laughs> just kind of, kind of want because of my flubbery the one up just in case something goes bad with the boss. I doubt anything will because it's not that hard, you know. Beginner time, but just in case, just in case. And we are about to meet the most deadly, evil, and vicious boss in existence. I'm up the mine, which is going to sprout you! And you can reach the palace! A monster is in the palace, scaring the princess! Oh no! Not scary! Please destroy him! Tomato away! And so, tomato vines grow everywhere! I, I guess. I, I, maybe. Maybe. Nah, actually, more like, looks, it'll be like a Mario vine, actually. Something like that with Mario sound of here. <laughs> That's a pretty smooth uh, animation effect there you've got there. And we have reached the sky with the palace and boss. Dun 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 dun. dun. Spooky pumpkin palace with D pads for eyeballs. Oh no. Will we be able to handle this boss? Will we be able to handle the pirate chicken? <laughs> Welcome, Kickle. I've been waiting for you, Yar. Bring it on! Oh, jeez, everything's frozen again. It's got ice, and it knows what to do with it. If you get hit by the ice, it's obviously gonna kill you. Kick the ice back at that chicken. And you're gonna have yourself a good time. Yeah, it breaks the ice too. Don't break the ice. For that is a game in on itself. Oh. I, thought I, was, I thought I was gonna bait it upwards. See, this is why I got the one up. <laughs> See, I moved upwards as he was throwing it, thinking he was gonna throw it upwards so I would have the room to kick him upwards. But no! No, my timing, it was off. 
So that's what I was going for, something like that. <laughs> It's gonna be, be like me more towards the middle of the screen. Give yourself some nice, nice room to get those cubes out in your favor. Have a good time. Kick them up to the chicken. Three hits, and it's done. <laughs> oh, yeah! No more scaring of the princess. The vegetables are all happy too. Oh, my dear Kickle, you saved me! Oh, my hero, there are four palaces in this fantasy kingdom, but the wizard king came and took all the palaces over! Oh, no! Get back all the palaces! I should do a little bit more of Fruitland here. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit of Fruitland, because I, this is where things start getting a little bit more complicated, basically, and I kind of want to show you some of the complexities of this game. So, here we are, starting out. So, this is kind of the tutorial that you can melt these sorts of blocks if you haven't figured it out already. But, remember that we were learned before that we had to stop blocks before? Yeah. 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 You kind of have to know that now. <laughs> well, they already know that, you know, you know. Oh, by the way, enemies, or I should say some enemies, can't go through these sorts of blocks, but the spiky guys can. The spiky guys, they are on a level of their own. The peaches have been saved. And I think you see the idea of how things are going here. <laughs> the, the themes of each of these lands. Got food and all the lands. And now I got some major action going on here. Remember the bomb guys? Prepare to block them out. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put like multiple blockers here. Just to be extra safe here. Cause that's uh, could be a little bit on the dangerous side. Cause they could blow their way through things and now we get ugly pretty quick. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I can't step on my own ice dealios as I'm walking. That'll, that'll automatically, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We'll make our way to the end of this. We'll be all right. We'll be a-okay. We have made it. Although I already ignored some of the popsicles, we have still made it. So that was strategy 101. I mean, it only looks like they're going to be blocking your paths, but oh no, 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 you can redirect them by blocking them along the way. Ah, and also waiting for them to explode and whatnot. And here's another version of strategy here. Unleash the clowns! Once you kill them, they'll start coming from that spawning place there. So, block it off immediately. So you see, here they come again! <laughs> Just gonna kinda, yep, there I was gonna say. I might have to put a blocker for some of these if they're too far away. See that? Yeah, yeah, that's part of the strategy. And looks like we're gonna be home free here. I can even shoot you across the water. Everyone will be blocked out. Everyone's gonna be sad except for me and the cherry people. Yes! Yes! Okay, one more level. <laughs> Call it on the random gameplay because I could play this probably hours. There's a lot of levels for this. <laughs> And check this out. What, is, what do you say we have some turrets now? They're, they're shooting some stuff, so why don't we put, put up some guards so that we can safely make our way through here. Ah, you like those apples. Getting those popsicles. That could be a little bit trickier in on themselves, because you see you're going to learn another element. You cannot put your blockers on the popsicles. But yet, the bullets... The bullets are also stopped by the popsicles, so say you wanted to get those popsicles. <laughs> How would you get those? All of them. Well, let's just see what I can pull off here. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I tried to tried to watch the pattern of them, but I failed. I failed miserably. <laughs> so that would be that would be the kind of stuff that would be pretty interesting to try and pull off on walkthrough time. But you know, for random gameplay and speed runs, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> that looks a little bit more dangerous than one may be willing to do. How much should you like? Let's see, do like a guard. 
It's like one, 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 one. Oh, they're, oh, they're actually shooting at different rates, too. That could be a problem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I see something. <laughs> Aha! Okay. Oh, no, that's not helping with that one. Uh... Ooh! Oh, yeah! I only had to watch the right cannon for that one, because I was the only one that could reach that popsicle after... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with that, I'm gonna end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.